What's happening today? Convicted murderer Stephen Lorenzo will learn whether he will be sentenced to death. He is asking for the death penalty, and that's what his victims' families want to see as well. And on your side, Xavier Harris joins us live this morning. And Xavier, today could bring some sense of closure for these families. Hey, good morning, Chris. That's correct. And this is closure that some family members and friends have been waiting for for nearly 20 years. Now, one thing those friends and family members will learn today is that Stephen Lorenzo will die in jail, whether it's by natural causes or from the death penalty. Now, back in December, Lorenzo submitted his guilty plea deal for the 2003 murders of Jason Gailhouse and Michael Wolke. Walk holds. Now, for 19 years, he maintained his innocence until late last year. He admitted to killing the two men, but claims he was just one of several men that participated in the killings. The victim's friends and mother say they have been waiting for this day for what seems like forever. It's not justice for me. It's justice for Jason's mother. Uh, for me, it, it will be justice to find out what happened about those other men. I want that man to get the death penalty penalty and nothing less, period. Now, Lorenzo was already serving a 200-year prison sentence on federal drug crimes. This morning, we're live in Hillsborough County. I'm Xavier Harris, 8 on your side. Thanks.